Hey, what's going on guys, Wingsman here and welcome back to another wrestling tutorial and today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make another mini game. Last time I did a long jump so I thought it was only fair if we do a high jump mini game this time. If you guys are excited for that make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. As you probably guessed already, yes, this is another TNT minigame, because let's be honest, jumping in Minecraft is pretty limited, even though we have like jump boost and stuff like those. But the way this works is pretty similar to the actual long jump that we did the other time. You just have to walk over the pressure plate, get to the TNT and make sure you're going to jump in the correct time, otherwise this is going to happen. You can see we're only jumping like 2 meters, just go 1 meter per block. You can see that we actually hit the little wire over here, which is going to activate the lamps, meaning that we actually failed. Of course, if you get the timing right and you jump at the exact moment as the TNT is going to actually explode, you can get a lot higher. Pretty much you can play with this with your friends and go make sure that everyone is going to get past this point. All you have to do to go higher is just go over here and add another piece of string for the next block, which is going to be 3 meters high. This can definitely get a lot harder, but with some practice you can actually get really good with the TNT jump. But the rest for this is really simple, all we have is just a simple rest online going from our pressure plate all the way down over here to the TNT. You can see it's really simple and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Well, I had to make at least one good jump. That time we went even higher, I am pretty sure we actually managed to go over the top of the lamps. Yup, I definitely went over. So the blocks you're going to need for this are some block of wood choice for the landing pad, you're going to need redstone lamps, tripwire hooks, some string, a pressure plate, one water bucket, one lily pad, one redstone repeater, a bunch of redstone, you're just going to need a temporary lever that doesn't really go in the end product, and of course you're going to need a bunch of TNT. First thing you want to do is just grab a set of redstone lamps and go about 10 blocks upwards. I noticed that you can definitely jump at least 10 blocks, but I didn't really know the max size. Well, pretty much what you want to do is skip 3 blocks and add another pillar over here, making sure they're going to be the same size. After that, grab yourself the actual red wool or any other block that you're using to act like a little cushion over here. We're just going to make like a 5x5 five five area. As you can see, we have 5 over here, we just need to go 4 blocks out and fill this in over here. It's definitely gonna look nice for the actual landing, but of course you can use any block that you want. You can even use like slime blocks with like carpet to make it a little bit bouncy. After that, grab yourself the tripwire hook and place them on the rest of the lamps. Pretty much if anyone is jumping and it actually catches on the string, the rest of the lamps are going to indicate that they actually failed. And you can see over here, every rest of the lamp is going to act like 1 meter of jump. So you can just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and just compete with your friends. Of course if you have the string and someone messes up, they are going to light up the actual rest of the lamps, indicating that they actually messed up. You don't really need this first one over here because, let's be honest, you can just make that by walking over here. But you definitely want to have a piece of string on the actual second block. You can just go over here and place one string in the middle and you can see it's going to connect. If someone jumps and actually catches on the trip wire hook, yes they're going to go on the other side but the rest of the lamps are going to turn on. After that go one block away from the actual wall over here and destroy three blocks in the middle. You have the actual water bucket in the middle with the lily pad on top of it and this is where the TNT is going to go right in the corners. You pretty much want to stand on the little pad when the TNT explodes, that way you can get the maximum reach. Of course there is a bit of this skill and timing involved, since you need to actually jump when the TNT is exploding, that way you can actually go a little bit higher. Since this is where the first TNT is going to go, you want to count the 10 blocks diagonally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And over here on the 11th block is where you are going to have a pressure plate. And you want to make a diagonal call that looks like this, which is going to be 3 blocks deep, that way you can actually hide redstone leading all the way down to the actual water. You can see this is where the TNT is going to be, so we need to power this block underneath, and another one right here. You can just grab yourself the redstone dust and go all the way back over here, now you are going to use a bit more redstone dust than usual, since you need like 2 places to actually move like a block. 
you can just go ahead and add the redstone all the way to this block. Now of course the redstone is not actually going to reach. All the way, so you can just use the lever to see where the redstone is going to cut off. You can see it's going to stop right over here. So we're going to destroy this piece of redstone and we're going to add a repeater which is going to power this block. Which is just going to continue the line going all the way to where the actual TNT is going to go. Of course you can fill in the hole with any block for your choice. And to start the mini game, you just need to fill these two pieces with TNT. Go over here to your pressure plate and you can start playing. Of course you saw that in high drop the people usually kinda start diagonally and actually go over here to the middle and kinda jump with their back. Of course we don't really have that kind of actual moment in the actual Minecraft, but what we can do is just use the TNT that is going to blast us in the air. Just over here, jump in the perfect timing and you're going to go all the way up. You can see over here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm pretty sure that this time we went about 2 or 3 blocks higher, so we can definitely go 10 plus blocks with this, but that's pretty much all there is for this mini game. Of course you can put in some signs over here at the back or the front of the actual redstone lamps to indicate how high you are jumping, but that's pretty much all there is for this video, if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new, it's completely free, takes only a couple seconds and helps the channel out tremendously. If you think any of your friends will enjoy this type of content, make sure to share it with them, but as always, I really hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out.